Hey guys, welcome to a new tutorial and today it's not going to be our traditional tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to use AI to generate 3D models. And here uh, I have a 3D model of uh, these characters that I generated maybe like in four or five minutes. Uh, and uh, yeah, actually, as you can see, it's pretty decent model. Of course, it has uh, awful mesh and uh, you can't use it like for rigging or anything, uh, any, anything serious. But nevertheless, if you look at these characters, they look pretty okay. Uh, and uh, so yeah, let's discover how to make it. Uh, first of all, of course, you can generate image you want to uh, make a 3D model. Uh, I used for that Midjourney and there are lots of, uh, lots of websites that you can use, lots of models. Uh, yeah, I used Midjourney, but if you are an illustrator and want to, uh, to convert your, model, your illustration to 3D, this is, uh, I guess, a very good option for you. Uh, you can go to the website uh, tripo.ai here so i would take for example this ship uh, it looks like this you need to register here to sign up uh, and uh, this website will give you 600 coins that you can use for generating um, generating models then you here click single image drag image you want to convert to 3D model and click generate. And in the end, you will receive a 3D model. So here are some of 3D models that I generated. For example, let's open this, this house. So yeah, this was uh, the image that uh, generated uh, that was generated by Midjourney, and this is the final result. And as you can see, it looks pretty decent. So here is a robot. So let me find it over here. And yeah, this robot looks not so good. Uh, because there are lots of small details here and it looks like something like realistic and when you try to generate something realistic uh, here it usually doesn't look that good uh, so the best cases I uh, found would be more like a cartoony style uh, models or images for example this astronaut now looks uh, like this uh, and uh, yeah of course you can say that it looks terrible and uh, it's not right but uh, if you would change this uh, yellow part to a black one so if uh, there wouldn't be this artifact over here uh, then actually it actually looks pretty a decent model and uh, yeah it was generated as uh, for me pretty okay so let's go to uh, cinema and uh, let's see how we can work with these models so first of all uh, to to import uh, them here you just take the file you download it so it's already there so uh, yeah I have it already here uh, and uh, yeah it has a texture uh, with uh, all the uh, with color and uh, all other attributes uh, and uh, yeah it has uh, awful uh, awful polygons so of course you can use remesh uh, to reduce the count of polygons uh, but uh, one quick uh, note in order to do that if you select uh, polygons now and uh, you will choose uh, fill selection a tool uh, you can see that uh, we can select only some parts that means that uh, this is like uh, not a model that uh, consists of one mesh but uh, rather lots of meshes that are not uh, stitched together in order to change it you need to press ctrl a to select all the polygons then press u uh, shift o for optimize command and then click ok and now as you can see i can select 
all polygons well except uh, these sunglasses but that's okay because it's uh, actually like a uh, separate object uh, and now i can uh, make this model a child uh, of a remesh and uh, reduce the count of uh, polygons uh, yeah but uh, even if you do that uh, I don't think that uh, you can use this model for anything serious, uh, but uh, yeah, I don't think that uh, you would uh, rig this model or something like that. Uh, but nevertheless, I am pretty sure you can use it for some draft animations. For example, you have uh, this kind of robot in your animation and uh, you don't need to model it uh, like for your draft animation from scratch. Uh, you can generate it, uh, use it to see if uh, it looks okay in the scene, if uh, it's not too big, maybe you need to change something and then after uh, you saw how it looks uh, how it looks in a 3D scene, uh, you can uh, change and tweak anything uh, you want uh, by starting like a new normal model. Uh, so yeah, and uh, of course the question is uh, does it make some difference uh, this uh, AI model like uh, will you lose your job because of it uh, I don't think so uh, first of all of course uh, there are dozens of uh, thousands models created for example on a sketchfab which you can download for free and uh, use it in your projects and uh, usually they are much better quality uh, especially if you look uh, at uh, these polygons uh, and uh, yeah, of course uh, you can download uh, thousands of free mod free uh, models and use them uh, in your projects, uh, whatever you want. Uh, and uh, this is, uh, I would say, just uh, a way to generate some specific models that you can't find. For example, if we are talking about using a robot in your scene, uh, of course you can download uh, hundreds of uh, robots on Sketchfab or any other website with uh, 3D models and use it. Uh, but for example, if you need exactly that kind of robot, uh, it would be pretty difficult to find uh, the same models that you need. So yeah, in that cases, when you need something uh, very specific, of course, uh, this website can help you a lot. Uh, but Nevertheless, I doubt that uh, the model that uh, you will download from it you can use like as your main model uh, on the first uh, part of your uh, of your animation. Uh, of course, it's like uh, if it's somewhere in the ground, for example, again, if we look at this robot, when it's somewhere far away, it looks pretty decent and uh, it looks like uh, okay because we can see all the details and uh, yeah actually you could use this uh, this model uh, in your animation uh, on background or somewhere far away where you can see all the details uh, yeah but if we are talking uh, for example about main character of course this doesn't look okay and uh, yeah Actually, it looks pretty strange and of course you won't use it uh, as the main part of your animation. Uh, so yeah, for now I think uh, our jobs are pretty safe. But uh, yeah, it opens uh, lots of interesting uh, options. For example, for people who create characters. You can sketch a character in Procreate or on paper, whatever you use. Uh, and then uh, put it uh, in Tripo AI and quickly generate a 3D character uh, and uh, to see how it looks uh, in a 3D scene maybe you can you, maybe you have to change something like some proportions or uh, colors or anything like that uh, so in that case it's uh, really helpful i guess uh, the other thing uh, that uh, of course you need to pay for it um, and uh, yeah, but not necessarily. Uh, every month they give you 600 uh, coins. So if you don't use it uh, too often, you can use it for free. Uh, but yeah, it opens some uh, new ways uh, to create 3D and uh, to create some sketches for animation and draft animations. And I think uh, it's pretty amazing uh, what you can do in like five to 10 minutes. 
using uh, just AI these days. So that's it for today. Uh, thank you for watching. And uh, please write in the comments what do you think about it. Will you use uh, this kind of generation for your 3D scenes? Or will it uh, maybe affect your workflow? Uh, I'm pretty curious uh, what are your thoughts and would be happy to talk about that. Uh, and uh, yep, that's it for today. See you in the next one.